when you were on a national tour of Mary Poppins, uh -huh. you started to feel a certain disconnect, a certain detachment. And that was a point where you turned towards spirituality. Uh -huh. And since then, you have incorporated spirituality into your work quite extensively. You begin a lot of your dance classes with a guided meditation session. Mm -hmm. You encourage dancers to look within, work on themselves, do a lot of inner work as well. Yeah. I find inner work to be very fascinating and we will dive into that. But before that, I do have to ask you this broader question. How much of dance is less about the movements, less about expression, less about the performance, but instead, first and foremost, how much of dance is just purely a spiritual experience? Ooh, and this is when I start playing with the Legos. <laughs> um, no, but... Uh, so just to make sure I'm getting this question right, how much of dance is a spiritual experience for me? Yes. You know, I... I would say the majority of, of time dance for me. Um, and it's the reason why I'm still doing this and why I've created a career out of it is because it's a spiritual thing for me. Um, obviously there's the business side of dance and having a career, um, centered around dance and theater. There's a lot of, you know, business stuff, but the spiritual aspect of dance is what keeps me coming back. Um, and now that I'm able to lead rooms, whether it's a class or a rehearsal, and I can kind of make the rules for the room. And I realized how much um, people are craving a sense of spirituality, even if they don't know it, even if they don't have the words for it, um, which is why I begin my, uh, when I start a rehearsal or a class, I begin with a meditation. Um, it's this idea of coming back to ourselves. I think especially in New York and in particular in the arts, having there's like this hustle and this grind that, and I, and I'm, I think it's everywhere, but I see it a lot in the dance and theater community. Um, it's a lot of promoting yourself and, and being the best and it's competitiveness and it's feeling like an individual and separate. And, and how do I compare to this person? Am I better or, you know, worse, yeah. so to speak. So to have a, um, a space where it's like, that is not the thing. It's, it's, can you, um, can we rest in beingness? Like, can we stop being a human doer for a little bit and be a human being? Um, that is, and, and that's touching, and that's that spirituality. That's that coming back home, so to speak, coming back to ourselves and realizing that we're all connected in this interconnectedness. And it's, I mean, with all, you know, not to, I don't want to, well, I'm sure we'll dive more into that, but um, yeah, dance provides that for a lot of people, even if they don't have the words for it. So I think I'm helping people realize like, oh, dance is not just something you do because someone said like, oh, you're talented and it's great exercise or whatever. It's a lot of people are drawn to dance because the same reason I am, because it um, gets them out of their own head and connecting with something bigger than themselves.